This is Lockjaw, our 1966 Chevy C20. And clearly, it's from a time before digital displays and data logging. And it certainly doesn't have an OBD2 port for our iDash data monster. But that didn't stop us from getting the data we needed. And if you've got an older vehicle, it won't stop you either. Let me show you how we loaded this custom creation with all the sensors you could possibly want and how we log it all right here. If you wanna add external sensors to your iDash, you'll need one of these. This is a four channel analog module and this is a four channel thermocouple module. Each allows you to add four sensors, either analog pressure and temperature or thermocouples for high temp environments. And we also offer a five channel module that allows you to add a frequency input from something like a Hall effect sensor. A Hall effect sensor detects the presence and magnitude of a magnetic field. The result is that if you point this sensor at a trigger wheel, you get a frequency. The iDash can use this frequency and info that you provide about the trigger wheel to calculate an RPM. Not just engine RPM, but supercharger RPM, and even wheel speed can be calculated and displayed in the iDash. For turbocharged engines, we also have our turbo speed sensor. Turbocharger shaft speed is an extremely important parameter when it comes to tuning. And this sensor is designed to handle the extremely high RPMs that this turbo will see. But for a fully instrumented system, you'll also want our pressure and temperature sensors. Pressure and temperature sensors can be used just about anywhere on a vehicle. In this case, we're looking at the more unique instance of the lockjaw force induction system. And here, we have pressure temperatures pre-supercharger, post-supercharger or pre-intercooler, and post-intercooler. So you might be wondering how you can use these sensors. Well, let me tell you how data saved us on Lockjaw. So a giant Whipple blower on a Duramax was a bit of an untested configuration for us. And what we saw was to get the top end blower speed that we wanted at 4,000 RPM, we ended up making about 14 PSI of boost at idle. We were compressing all this air with nowhere to go. So we essentially overworked and overheated the air and the IDAS showed us that that temperature was climbing and climbing and climbing. We were able to catch that before any damage occurred to the blower and implement a turbo smart wastegate to serve as a bypass at idle. So without these sensors, we wouldn't have known there was anything wrong with this configuration until it was too late. The iDash can not only display and monitor those parameters, but it can also calculate new values in real time based on your data stream. For example, if you place pressure and temperature sensors on your intercooler in, intercooler out, and the intake manifold, the iDash can isolate the contribution of power from just your intercooler. This can be displayed as a percentage or an actual horsepower value. You can get a lot of good data from just a few well-placed sensors. Uh, you can put a, a air pressure sensor in different parts of the car and it'll tell you where the high pressure area is so you can sort of get that ram air effect for free while also actually reducing your aerodynamic drag. One of the biggest things is temperature. Because uh, once those temps are going up, that's when we start having problems with the engine or trans. We start out at over 105. And once the vehicle starts moving because of the ram air and, and all that, it drops down to just about 90, oh, wow. which makes a huge difference for natural aspirated engines. With just pressure, temperature, and frequency, there's a massive amount of data you can gather from your own vehicle. These pressure sensors are able to be used in air or liquid, so you can use them for things like manifold air pressure or engine oil pressure, or you can get crazy and use them to monitor air pressure in your air suspension. With temperature sensors, you can get vital readings from your trans or diff, or you can use them openly like we did on Lockjaw to get blow-off valve temps, or even fan in and out temps. All of these wiring harnesses are easy to connect, plug and play solutions. Just put the sensor wherever you want it and snap in our easy connection cables. There's a massive amount of sensors and wiring in this truck, but luckily the bank sensor modules can stack together so they can mount in series. But the most powerful sensor is this guy right here. This is a Banks Air Mouse, and it acts as a portable weather station for your vehicle reading ambient weather conditions. It reads ambient temperature, pressure, and humidity, which means it reads ambient density. And that alone is a very powerful tool. Ambient air density tells you the horsepower potential of the air that your engine is starting with. If you use your iDash to measure air density at multiple locations across the vehicle, you can see how air density changes relative to ambient, and you can see the change in air density across any component you're measuring. Just like drag racers record ambient conditions from a weather tower at the track, now you can have all that data right at your fingertips. You can isolate components and see a quantifiable change in real time. And we do the exact same thing on our research and development. 
On our engine dyno, you'll see pressure and temperature sensors everywhere on an engine. All of this can work in tandem with the data from an OBD2 connection if you have an OEDN up vehicle, or if you have an aftermarket ECU, we've got connections for that as well. So you might think we went a little overboard with the iDash. Not only can it read any parameter coming off of a CAN bus of a modern vehicle, but it can read external sensors, calculate complex parameters in real time, and log and display just about anything you could want. It's the ultimate engine evaluation tool. Remember, this truck had basically nothing when we got started. And if you've got a vehicle you wanna know everything about, you can buy our iDash Data Monster and all the sensors we just showed you at bankspower.com.